Well, hello, Nagros. And the French Oils installed. Welcome back to my kitchen. Finally, right? So, on today's menu, we're gonna talk about the best decks in the new meta. Yep, new expansion hit. We know what the best decks are. We know who's gonna top eight, top four, top one. The list is right here. Yeah, so what you're looking at is the best decks in Japan right now. They got the new expansion. We got it now, but we know what's been winning top eight, top four, top one. It's Rashim Charizard, Zapdos, and all the other guys. So let's jump into it. Here we go. Let me go ahead and switch screens. And all right, number one, your new Ferrari. The thing that everyone wants, the thing that's hitting first place. Rashim and Charizard. Charizard's like, oh my gosh, I'm one of the best decks now. Congratulations, Charizard. So, why? Why is this the best deck in the game? All right, so let's take a look. 270 HP. This is the highest HP on everything on this list right here. Okay. You have the number one HP. is almost impossible to one-shot you. Uh, yeah. And two-shotting you is still difficult. You need a choice ban, and if you don't draw that choice ban on time, you're not gonna two shot him. You're gonna three shot him, and every turn that you can't get this down is a big problem for you. So, you've, it's got a lot of HP. Now, let's look at the damage. It is also the highest damage on this list here. Really? You're gonna have first place in both categories? 230 damage? Basically, this one shots everything on the list as well. Alright, so there is almost no penalty with this. Four energies, fire Pokemon just got a new uh, energy bonus. They still have Kiawe. This four energies is no penalty, and the penalty here is they can't use the next turn. This is, you remove it with a switch card, man. That is not a penalty, you could just fix it with a darn switch card. There are other combos too, but really, that is no penalty. Four energies, easy. You one-shot everything, you have lots of life. You got a nice backup attack, such as your GX and Outrage. Basically, this thing's number one because of its stats. It's higher than everything on this list. Are you sure that, you know, its first place is not reasonable? It is very reasonable. So, here's your new shiny Ferrari. Have fun with Charizard while well, it's awesome. Charizard, I know you've been s Nobody's... You, you haven't been first place in a while. Go for it, man. Go for it. And then I'll get tired of you after you show up everywhere beating me up. So, hello number one, how's number two? Now this almost deserves to be number one as well. In Japan, basically it's one nine of the top eight stuff and then Charizard's ten. By a little bit. Play it again? I'm pretty sure it could get first place in Zapdos. This is your Toyota Corolla. It doesn't fail. This is a basic Pokemon. This costs one energy to do. And the combo is so consistent. Yeah, it's probably the best out of everything here. So what it does is it two shots everything. One energy, 80 damage. You give it the choice bands. You give it the, let's see. What else was that? Electro power. Because it two shot stuff, you can bring down a Charizard in two hits. Three hits, it's okay. It's also worth one prize card. It's a Corolla. You have to replace it every turn, but it's not going to fail you because it's just consistent. Super, 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 super consistent. And Charizard has to kill these six times in order to win. And Charizard's like, I wish I could. My game's going to be faster. And that's why you were practically first place. So given this, what are the three? What do you need to do to be uh, in the meta? You need to one shot a Zapdos. You need to do at least 210 damage to be viable. You also need to two-shot Charizard, which means 140 damage. That is a very, very, very big ceiling. But decks can do it. So, these are the top two decks. It's going to be lightning and electric Pokemon everywhere. So, who is, you know, the remaining good cards? All right, so I'm going to talk about cards that are going to be like, you know... Every, one of every element. What's the best psychic? What's the best fairy? All right, so I was like, all right, man, I'm not Charizard, I'm not Zapdos, but I can still do it. I can still meet the requirements. The first up, Malamar. No, not the fight. To get energies, because Malamar makes a lot of decks work. Actually, I mean Pokemon. Yeah, decks do. So, you whoosh the Zapdos of the Malamar decks. It's probably gonna be. I'm gonna take Giratina off. 
because of this penalty, I'm sorry, this penalty right here, it's making it a little easy for Zapdos to take it down. Yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, 80 damage? I don't even have to work any, do anything to just one shot you, bye! And it will take down, like, your Corolla. This is the Corolla of the Psychic Pokemon, so... Mm, I would probably go with Deoxys. Yeah! Deox- or some Deoxys, because it doesn't hurt itself. It has a better matchup against one of the best decks, Zapdos. Zapdos has to pay up to three Electro Powers to knock this Deoxys out. And that's the difference between using Giratina and Deoxys. So, yeah, Giratina comes back up, the 10 damage, you still want one in your deck, but Deoxys is like the Zapdos in the game. The combo is not as, uh, fluid. Actually, I would say it would be as. It is. No one in the Deoxys wasn't in the list, but I think it is equal to Zapdos with the Malamars. Well, there is this big three energy cost, and you can see why maybe it's not as popular, but technically you can do it. That's what I'm going to give as the best Psychic deck. Now, you could also throw in big one-shot Pokemon cards such as uh, the Crosswa. This is like your race car. It's going to die one shot to a Charizard, but it can one-shot Charizard. It just needs a lot of energies, a lot of time, and it might get Goosebud and killed. And Black Ray can get all those Charizard weakened up so they get one-shotted. Yeah! So, Psychic Pokemons can fight back, but as you can see... It's just not sufficient energy cost, it's less HP, and that's, uh, that's what it is. But you can do it. You can beat those decks. It's not a bad deck. Alright, moving on, Dragons! Dragons like, hey man, we're Psychic Pokemons too! Uh, Necrozma has been placing, Ultra Necrozma. He's a Dragon Pokemon, but he's really a Psychic Pokemon, because he pretty much uses the same system. These two, they are pretty much Psychic Pokemons. They, like the Krasma, try to beat Charizard, in which they're big, well, no, some of them are big, they have the big damage that can one-shot Charizard. But Charizard doesn't have to discard any energies. His penalty is that he just has to play a switch. These guys do, and they just have to rely on Malamar to set up, so they have an extra step to work with. Yeah, but they one-shot Charizards, and uh, if they're going against Zapdos, Zapdos has a hard time one-shotting these. I'm sorry, two-shotting these. So they can trade with Zapdos, they can trade with Charizard. Their combos are just going to be a little bit longer, and that's why the third and fourth place right now. But they can't do it. So, that's, those are the best Psychic and Dragon decks. And Dragon's like, you, know, you get it, they're Psychic decks as well. Moving on, what is the best uh, fighting Pokemon? Fighting Pokemon right now just have really bad energy acceleration. And they're, you know, they don't have this big, nice thing that can one-shot Charizard. They're gonna need a GX! So, none of them are actually placed here. I'm putting you here because there's nothing else. So, this is the Jeep, man. It has 210 HP, but you can boost it up with a body buddy dumbbell. Yeah, it needs armor plating, man, to survive that Charizard. So, Charizard with a choice, man, cannot one-shot it. Actually, Charizard with a Choice Man does one shot. I take it back. That just sucks for you. <laughs> better hope, better remove that Choice Man, man. But it does two shot a Charizard. It does one shot a Zapdos with a Deancey. I had to put something with the fighting. It does give him those requirements. Two shot a Charizard, one shot a Zapdos. It does it. And it could use Acerola to outheal itself and use this GX to one shot the Charizard, too. You need the fighting building dumbbell. You technically can beat them. So, Lucario, I will give you the first place here. You also have your mini Lucario too. With it takes a little bit more energies, but this will be, you know, you might pair it with it. Might put it in there. This is these two. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive version of uh, Lucario with you know, different different penalties and buffs. Alright, so those what I think are the two best fighting. Use like rock and Lucario. What is the best grass? Grass is like, what the fuck, bitch man? This guy's like the number one! We're all weak to fire! So, you're not gonna see any GXs here, so things like Buzzwall, Ferramosa, uh-uh, bye-bye. Venusaur, uh-uh, bye-bye. Do not do it when Charizard is gonna be number one and everywhere. So, the only Grass decks that can qualify are non-GX ones. Actually, given Charizard's damage, you might not even have to worry about that. Charizard just one-shots everything regardless if you have weakness damage or not. So, you know what, who am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give it to this Aerocross. Aerocross, that's right! How do you be a Zapdos? You one-shot that Zapdos. 
Mm -hmm. Your energy cost is low, and basically, you're the Zapdos of the Grass Pokemon. Do you uh, two-shot Charizard? Yes, with Choice Band with uh, with that Stadium Shrine Punishment. So, that's why I'm giving this arrow cross first place. Uh-huh, I'm definitely not giving it to Venusaur. And I might give it to Galissapod, but right now, Galissapod doesn't have Grass Yourselves, but good GX to one-shot this. If they do, it would be probably something like... Faramosa for using its beauty GX. That can one shot Charizard. When you're about to lose. Yeah, that you would put it with the uh, Faramosa. Sorry, the, 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 the Heracross deck. You might use this beast game 50 damage and you can steal KO. You get two prize cards, but then you lose to a Charizard that's gonna smack you and you lose three prize cards. So basically, they have to. I think this is the Zapdos of the grass decks. There's nothing too special about it, but it's cheap. It's the theme shop. Go with it and you can still beat those decks. You can. It can't do it. Mm -hmm. So, it's not on the list anywhere. Because, you know, no one's playing grass against Charizard. Huh? But you had, I had to put something there. And there we go, that's the filler. Metal Pokemon, what are you weak to? Yep, yep. Who's not weak to fire? Actually, I'm already looking at him. This guy's not weak to fire. Your Pokemon in play have the weakness. Can Charizard one-shot you? It needs a Joyce Man. And you can block it with a bodybuilding helmet. And you can remove those choice man, so it's a poker tool war. Not only that, do you one shot Zapdos? Yes, this is 120. Do you two shot the Charizard? You need a choice man, which conflicts with the butt helmet that you need to wear. Or actually, you would wear a, you wouldn't wear a helmet. You would wear a frying pan, or you could use some damage boosting effects such as Delmise. That's a basic. Put two Delmise down. You two shot Charizard. Aha! Not only that, you get your nice GX and heal off the damage. And if you can, you know, juggle some Sogaleos, then do it. Great! Not only that, your other evolution does one-shot Charizard with the Choice Band and the Delmon. That's three prize cards. It can do it. So, something has to be taking the place of the best battle decks. I think the Sogaleos can. They're just not popular because this is stage two. What are these things? This is a basic. And this is a basic. You don't have to have the headache. You don't have to waste that much deck space on rare candies, making things click. So this is why it's not popular, but you can do it. You really want to, go for that. All right, what else? Lugario Bell Metal. Yeah, look at this. Two shot right there. Big HP. What are you weak to? Ah, oh, Farfetch. Ah, Farfetch. Now the GX can't take out away all the Charizard's energies. And if you get a nice good flow, maybe you're running a, maybe you're running this with the deck. Maybe you're running something to help you against weakness. You can't do it. Do you two shot Charizard? Yes. One shot Zapdos. Yes. You have your own energy bonus. Your GX is great. You can't do it, but you just have weakness, and that's why you're just not as popular. You're like the Venusaur, but you have actually a good energy bonus and ways to counter your weakness damage. They're just locked into this metal tree. Venusaur has a weakness policy, but, you know, it didn't stop eight anywhere. You're not going to be a Venusaur deck against this guy. Moving on, Metal Deck's good! Psychic, what do we got? Water! Okay, here we go, Water. I think the best Water Pokemon is Quagsire. One did play somewhere. It did, eh, but not too popular, though. So, Quagsire, do you one-shot Zapdos? Yes, you do. Full Energy's Hydro Pump, you one-shot? Do you one-shot Charizard? Yes! You weakness damage, bye bye Charizard! I played Quagsire, I blow up your Charizard. Yeah! So, it's good anti meta, and who's the best guy? Like, do you see Zap? Uh, let's see. This guy did place like fourth, he's still winning. But he's not winning as good as Zapdos, because he's a little bit riskier, and he doesn't trade as well against Charizard. Hey Charizard, do you one shot me? Yes. You have more HP than me? It's trying to two shot you, Charizard's so one shotting that, so Zapdos, uh, I mean. Somehow it's winning. Somehow it's placing. I'm not sure, but uh, it, it is. It is. So, but if since this is still around, you can use a new Quagsire that has water energies. And yeah, with a choice man one shot. Well, let me see. He yeah, buffed it a little bit, but you can one shot. Use the weakness damage to one shot a Zekrom, which would be yeah. So not only that, Zapdos has a little bit of trouble two shotting you with one Electro Power. It does, on average, 110 damage, and that's a little difficult to two-shot. It needs to pay up two every single time it wants to get you. So, you probably can take on, well, yeah, you can take on the two best decks. You two-shot the rest. 
You may have to use something like this if you want to one shot, throw down a wishy washy, push four energies into it, and you want that one shot on that Charizard or a big GX, do it then try to max motion run it back there. So that's why I think could be a good, would be my best water deck. If I had to play water, I'd use that. What else? What I think we may have one more fairies. Fairies and dark. All right, so what is the best fairy deck right now? This has been placing. And this is why this has been placing. This thing has good HP, give it a helmet, and it should survive even Charizard's Flame Strike. Yeah, a double blaze, not so much, but it's got its own GXs too. So, because you do live against Charizard, you also live against Zapdos, you one shot and two shot them. You two shot the Charizard without any extra help. Yes! Do you one shot Zapdos? Yes! Are you compatible with max motions? Yes! And this pushes them to like extra prize guards that are being denied and lets you overcome them. It's also a basic, so I can see why it's placing not as high as the others, but it's placing. God War Sylvia, you take the first place here. There's also another deck that kind of made it like random, but hey, coin flip effect. Now you're just throwing the game into coin flips. The game coin flips are so powerful because it gives you complete immunity. They try to one-shot you, you live, and then it could really upset the game. But I, you know why it's not popular? Because the coin flips. Sometimes it's awesome, other time it's eh. But it did place, and I, I'm gonna have fun with you when I get to you. All right, it does hold. Does uh, I didn't see Gardevoir on the list, but Gardevoir should fit. Yeah, you do one-shot everything here. You even one shot this year, and it'd be stars will be so afraid of this guard war. I think I know you've been to worlds, you've been first place. You might actually come back because you do. Uh, I would say this is necessary for the Whimsicott combo, and not only that, you have a one shot on this. You have a one shot on the. Let me see this. Where Zekrom, the tag team GX, says you one shot still one shot them all too because they all have a big energy cost. So. God of War, I still think you have a chance, but you're a stage two. Look at these basics. I would play a basic Zoward Gordon in the headache of a fairy Pokemon. All right, dark Pokemon, this is the last quarter going the most boring category because you've been around forever. You've been top eight every single, everywhere. <laughs> so this here is your Jeep. You have uh, given a bodybuilding dumbbell and you might survive a Charizard. Unless it's got a choice, but then you won't survive Charizard. It's another Poke Tool battle. Alright, and you may... <laughs> I don't know, you've been around for a while. You two-shot the Charizard. You one-shot the Zapdos. And you've been in third, fourth place. Everyone knows about you. Everyone's made sure that you're gonna... They can beat you, but you can't beat them. So that's why you're here. Alright, so I believe that's every single element, and those are the major cards. Some of these were not on the list. But I really, they're there mainly because, hey, I know fighting is not popular, I know that grass is not popular, but I just want to see, like, theoretically, if you were to force into the element, what would you need to do to beat the best decks? So, this here is my review of all the great cards. Yeah, like, what are all these extra? Uh, it didn't work out. So, thank you, and of course, friends, you'll take it easy, stay safe. I'm going to see you next time, and we're going to be actually playing these decks. Yeah, number one. I'm starting with you tomorrow or the next video because I need to see what number one is doing. I need to feel it. So that's for next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.